hello and welcome to my channel um so just under two weeks ago i hit 500 subscribers and it has gone up since then so thank you so much everyone i um this for me was never going to be about um the numbers it has always been a place for me to for myself to record my journey um and I, even when I first started looking at Slim and World on YouTube, um, I had no intentions of starting a video channel. So yeah, it's amazing. Um, before I start my giveaway, I just sort of get tell you a bit how I got into recording my videos, basically. So um, just before I went back to Slim and World last year, I basically did a bit of. It was probably the summer. It's probably a good month or two before I rejoined, um, just because we had the summer holidays and everything. And it just something that I just had to go and have a look. So I put in Slimming World on YouTube. I did never really use YouTube that much. I used um, the body coaches YouTube like hit workouts, but um, so I'm just having a coffee. But I never really looked into it as in for like Slimming World or anything in particular, um, just apart from exercise. So I put in Slimming World and up came Jane SW. And I've followed Jane ever since. I've pretty much, I don't think there's any many videos that I haven't watched. Um, and then from there, I found the Livingstones, which is the lovely Helen and her family. Um, all Slim and Well related. These are, there's also the lovely Lisa Snow, SW, um, Katie Jane, um, Claudia Lane. Who else have I discovered? Oh, Nikki from Foppaholic. Um, I think I found Nikki first on Instagram and saw that she had a YouTube channel and she is actually also a consultant. So, um, yeah, she's, she sort of keeps up to date. She's, um, her videos are really good. She does beauty blogs as well. And also trim with tan. I've had to, if you wonder why I'm keep looking down, <laughs> I just keep looking, um, trim with tan, tan. And also, um, Gemma's journey. Um, she used to be Gemma SW. She's changed her name to Gemma's journey and she is like fitness. She's, my kind of girl she's just like i love her fitness her energy um and i followed her again for quite a long time as well now and pretty much watched most of her videos along with most of these that i've mentioned um and then i think it was jane sw was just talking about some of her favorite instagram accounts or she always does now and again just sort of if she comes across a new account she'll give them a mention which is really great um so she mentioned the budget slimmers so i started following them and kath and laura from the budget slimmers if you haven't followed if you don't follow them go and check their account they are brilliant um they do some great recipes their weight loss journey probably has been like in the previous has very similar to mine sort of up and down um and yeah they've um they're just brilliant. They're really inspirational. It was from them and also Jane that I decided to do a channel. Like, I had my channel there. I think I put a pictures of <laughs> some videos up of Ralph. No, not even Ralph, Sydney. So that's how long ago it was when he was a baby. Um, and that was it. So I decided to start recording some videos. Um, I'm not going to lie. The first time I recorded, I haven't even looked back, but I should do now because I feel much more confident. The first time I did it, I probably just i don't know <laughs> i probably waffled a lot more than i waffle now i waffle a lot so um yeah i was you could probably tell i was quite nervous um i should go back and watch them actually just sort of see how far i've come and it was only started doing that maybe like december november time um so a couple months after i rejoined slimming world um i just thought you know i need to document this somewhere and i have met some since then, I have just met some lovely, lovely people, people that I consider friends. Um, so I'm going to mention some names, but the lovely KSW, um, yeah, she's just brilliant. So yeah, if you do, again, with all of these accounts, if you don't check them out, these are ones that I watch regularly, I sort of dip in and out of, I try to comment as much as I can. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy these channels. Um, Bales, 1986SW, which is Rachel. Um, her videos are brilliant. She does some really good um, sort of content in them. Um, just something that we can all sort of uh, resonate with. Um, some great ideas for sins, like 
different ways to use your sins and Friday find she always does which you get some really good ideas um, also Trudy Beanie she again she does some really good uh, videos about um, she recently started the tag um, what have you done to make you feel self feel proud and I'm not gonna see it <laughs> because that'll be stuck in your head all day <laughs> Um, I also discovered, um, this was from the Bud Budget Slimmers, the big fella does Slimming World, um, the lovely Alec. Um, he has just lost so much weight. He has actually just posted a video up, which is a bit of a shame. He's taken a, hopefully just a month's break, but he's got to do it for himself. Um, also, I've discovered Phil, um, I, have to, I had to write this down, Phil, <laughs> because your title, I always get it wrong. Phil's Slimming World Weight Loss Diary. Um, I've also discovered discovered um, Tess SW. Um, I think I discovered her through Kate SW. Um, she does some really nice. Oh my gosh! If you're looking for a nice full English kind of style breakfast, she's your lady to go for. Good brunch recipes. Um, she's really nice. Uh, Vicky Simkiss. Um, yep, she does some really good videos. Just she does some really good recipes, and I just love. She, her she's just hilarious her mum is hilarious as well with her she's just really really lovely and um now debbie on simming world i have seen before and i've watched her videos for quite a long time now um but yeah she's oh my gosh she has done amazing um yeah she's lost is it just over 200 pounds now i mean that is just amazing same with kate so she has lost a considerable amount um if you look go and look on her instagram um i think she also does put them up on her um videos but if you check kate's um she's actually k8 uh, weight loss on instagram um she does some brilliant like compare comparison pictures so does De debbie as well and you can just see how much they've both lost it's just amazing um and recently i have also met some other accounts um, that I've sort of watched the last, I guess, sort of month and a half or so now. Um, I'm going to reel them all off. Vicky's World, um, Slimming World, well, SW Inked Dana. Um, Natalie Marie Josie, I've tagged her in a few videos before. Um, Scrumptious Cooking Slimming World with, well, SW Susie. Um, she does some good recipes. Frida SW56, she's just gone back into and seduced doing some videos and also Nikki Conley who um, has been doing videos for a little while and but I only just recently discovered her um, so yeah she does some really good videos and last but not least is the lovely Jo New SW I have been following Jo for a little while now um, but she's still fairly new in comparison to some of the other ones that I have been following for a long time but she's only just started doing videos and she's doing fab uh, I really enjoy her channel. She's got some great recipes. She's a busy mum of two and also studying, so she's definitely got her hands full. Um, but yeah, these are all channels that I watch sort of on a regular basis, whether I'm just cooking or just watching TV <laughs> that I don't want to watch. So I'll just stick on a YouTube video. Um, yeah, so uh, it, they all inspire me in some way, in different ways. Um, whether it's cooking food or what people eat in a day um, they're all great channels to go and have a look and some of these people I consider my friends now so I just love this community and being part of it whether it be on YouTube or Instagram it's just a lovely um, the Slimming World community is just lovely everyone is very encouraging and yeah, I just love being part of it. And thank you to everyone that subscribes to my channel and leaves comments. Um, it really does mean a lot when you read the um, when I read the comments. Um, I do always, as I said, always try to comment back. Sometimes I don't always get notifications, as I said. But um, give me a nudge if, I, if you want me to reply or something. Um, but yes, I it really means a lot when you leave comments. And I welcome everyone to my new ch my channel. Um, so giveaway time. So... I've decided, I was arming and ironing what to do, and I just thought I'm going to do a giveaway with stuff that I use quite a lot. Um, and yeah, why not? So, 
I just thought these are the things my favourite. So these are what I've recently discovered. I well say recently, probably the last couple of months. Um, these are lentil curls. They are sour cream and chive. They're from Tesco's, but I think Aldi, possibly Lidl's, and Marks and Spencers. They all do similar ones. And the sour cream and chive are. They are ninety calories. They're four and a half sins anyway, and there's six in there. Um, also my favourite now I've always allowed at least once a week I will have one of these um, basically they are I, I, I try to have chocolate most days not every day but most days um, just because I have found out in the past when I've done that previous should we say healthy living changes or diets or any anything like that um, it goes wrong because I cut out chocolate I'm not like I have to eat a bar of chocolate, but literally I will end up binging because I'm depriving myself of something that I just want to have a little of now and again. I'm not sitting there eating like bags of chocolate or bars of chocolate every day. Um, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why I got this size um, during my pregnancy with Ralph. I put on a lot of weight and it was due to chocolate, basically. It was my craving. Um, but I, yeah, I don't do that now and I basically monitor how much I have and I just enjoy it so curly whirlies they are six sins um, as with everything as I always say double check the app because they, they have changed before at the moment they are six sins and um, also garlic granules um, Jane SW and Helen from the Livingstone she they use these a lot and that well I noticed they use these a lot so I thought hmm, I mean I use fresh garlic as well but these are just really handy when you just want to give a little bit of flavor of garlic um or you don't have any garlic in they're just handy to have in the cupboard so yeah i have those you can also get garlic salt which i guess is, is more saltier um but yeah i just have these ones you can always add obviously add salt um cajun seasoning now you're thinking why has she put some cajun seasoning in there I am a big fan of creamy Cajun pasta. And yeah, that's what you need. Um, the recipe is actually over on my Instagram. I have also done a video. Um, I'll try and link it up below if I remember, but if I don't, let me know and I can tag you in it or um, put the link below. But um, yeah, it's also, or also on my Instagram post. If you look in my, uh, what do you call them, highlights under food, it's under there. But um, details but yeah creamy cajun seasoning i love creamy cajun pasta if you like a little bit of spice in food i didn't know if i was going to like it but it is a game changer it really is um also now if if you haven't done, if you don't use this you're not doing slim world <laughs> fry light you basically squirt it till it hurts yeah you basically spray it into your pan and cook your food. It's just a great alternative to oil. Um, it does, people do say it stains the pans. I've never really had a problem. But yeah, but I find that oil stains my pans as well, has done in the past. Um, but yeah, it's just really handy when you're frying onions, mushrooms, and anything you're frying, it is really handy. I My favourite is the coconut one. Um, it doesn't taste horrendously of coconut i like coconut but there's a lot of people that don't um but yeah that's my favorite one so i thought i'd include a bottle in that of that something else i've discovered recently um and which i am absolutely loving <laughs> these are in tesco's they are 25p each but i'm including a packet <laughs> because i've only recently discovered these how i have not had these before I'm sure I've seen them on people's channels and never even thought about it before. But yeah, say golden savoury rice, they are free at the moment on the pan. Obviously, things may change in the future, but at the moment they are free. Um, another thing I like is quark. But I'm not going to send a bottle of um, a tub of that. One, well, yeah, it probably might not be that nice once it gets to you. But what I do add to my quark is um, options. Um, most of these are two sins each. Let's say, yeah, they pretty much are two sins each. This is the salted, oh, it's Belgian chocolate salted caramel, which is my favourite. I add 
base it in one of the big tubs you could get away with adding a sachet you could even add one in like the smaller tubs um, a sachet of this which is two sins or you can just use half um, white chocolate I'm not as keen on this one but it is nice if you just want to sweeten it slightly and Belgian chocolate is another one that I use a lot I also try they do a limit I think it's a limited edition one it's a strawberry one which is quite nice but not really my cup of tea but those three are included and now I hope I would say most of you've heard of this but it is skinny syrup I'm including a big bottle of the vanilla vanilla sugar-free skinny syrup and it's free at the moment um whether that will change in the future if you use too much but at the moment i mean i only use like a teaspoon in food brilliant for your quark or your coffee i've got some in my black coffee i usually add milk but when i add a bit of skinny syrup i don't bother because it just sweetens it and just makes it a little bit creamier tasting but yeah this is brilliant it's quite expensive from amazon but i managed to get some in a big lot of them in um, TK Maxx, which is very rare in my TK Maxx, but I managed to get some and I've held one bottle back for my giveaway. Now, last but not least, I, I don't think I could have done my journey without a weight loss planner diary, basically to log what I eat. Um, I know like Rachel was mentioned before, she didn't, doesn't write things down because she doesn't want to see it as a diet which is great if you can do that if you're one of those people that can do that that is brilliant and I kind of didn't want to do that but I have a memory like a sieve I have a hundred things going on in my head and I'm getting older <laughs> I can't remember so <laughs> I write everything down and I discovered a beautiful brand I'm actually going to open it but I will put it back in the packaging because I don't want it to get damaged now, I do know that some men follow my channel, and I do have a less feminine one, but it's the lovely Fox and Moon Diary. And, yeah, it's brilliant. So, in this one, you have got your jar, where you can put your stickers for your journey. So, how much, you, how much you've lost so far, um, which is great. I suppose if there's not enough stickers there, like someone like Deb, Debbie on Slimming World, I don't think there's 200, I don't think there's 200 hearts there. So you might do half a stone or something, or do it in twos, but um, you probably can purchase some more hearts. But yeah, um, you can do put all your start weight in, your measurements in here, how much you aim to lose, um, your shopping list, food planners. I don't think, oh, sorry, you can't see that, can you? And then oh, your food diary. There. So every day of the week, you have a food diary. This is a 12 week one, so it will last you for quite a lot while. And yeah. Um, I just think it's really, they are really motivational. They just help me at the end of the day, tally things up. I will get to the point when I get maybe near a target or after target, I will stop using it. Um, and I will just try and do it in things in my head. I'm starting to do that all already. Um, when I went away, I just did it at the end of the day and I did found, find it quite easy, but I did have to think about it the whole day. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, really handy. So, I'm going to be including one of these. As I said, they have got a less feminine looking one if you prefer that. Um, but yeah, I don't see why a man can't have this one either. Be your own kind of beautiful. So yes, I am including that in my giveaway as well. And that is it. Now, the cutoff time for my giveaway is that you need to basically... Oh, how to enter. Let's do that first. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. So how to enter. What you need to do is actually to be a subscriber to my channel give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in there in the comments box below of why why you enjoy my channel and um yeah that's it that's all you need to do um i 
you can enter as many times as you like by leaving another comment but it has to be it can't be a comment under your previous comment it won't be counted for um yeah and as long as you've got um yeah as long as you've got a youtube account you can enter because obviously you have to follow me to ha you have to have a youtube account to be able to follow me so yeah that's all you have to do and the latest time to enter will be next tuesday the first of may at 9 p.m unfortunately it will be for uk residents only so the item will be sent to a uk address only so um yeah as long as you fit everything in that criteria then yeah please enter um I think that was everything. I did write a note. Yeah, that is all. Um, any questions, give me a shout, but I hope that's all made sense. And yeah, please enter my giveaway. Thank you everyone so much. And thank you again to everyone that's followed me for a long time now, or any new subscribers. I thank you so much. It just means the world to me. And I will see you well, I'll see you in a few days, but otherwise I will announce the giveaway probably next Wednesday, the 2nd of May. I will probably um, post that up with the giveaway. I will try and do a live on here. I'm not sure if I can do it. I might try and do that. Um, or if I get some time, I will actually just sit down and do announce the giveaway to you. Um, take care, everyone, and good luck if you're entering. And uh, I shall speak to you soon. Bye.